Hey guys, today we are going to talk about a tweet from the Mana Source, and it's an interesting one. I pretty much am going to change the channel. A lot of you might ask, why don't we do MTG Finance? MTG Finance is very simple. Buy reserve list cards, sell everything else. Like, could I make it more simple? No. <laughs> Anyone telling you to like, oh, let's buy boxes of this and boxes of... No, they're just going to reprint everything to the ground. Do you know the new modern set, the really strong post-modern set, will have a unlimited print run? Yeah, that's a signal to me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, reserve list cards only. All right, back to Wedge. Don't forget today. Today is important. Today, history is made. Autumn Lily MTG wins the first Mythic Invitational. A win for non-binary players. A win for the British a win for MTG. Okay. So the Mythic Invitation, which I still think PewDiePie should get invited to. C1, um, Autumn Lily is a non-binary player, which means that she does not, he or she, I'm going to use the term player. No, I'm going to use the term, uh, the person does not identify as a male or female. Just because a person starts out as a male doesn't mean that they are male. Uh, and that's what a non-binary player is. And it is also a win for the British. And this is kind of MTG community in a nutshell. Um, the British part I want to focus on a little bit more. But here you have someone saying, no, today a person won a Grand Prix. And for that, we as a community are excited and proud. Your gender does not define your achievements. Wed says, I also mentioned they were British, but you're not going to criticize that message, are ya? I will. I will, Weds. Very soon. Represent taste and matters. And nowhere did I say Autumn's accomplishments were because of their gender. So dare. I guess dare and they is the proper term. Although I think it's plural. I... Literally nowhere. If anything, your comment shows more about how you see gender. So a lot of people on Twitter, they have the Autumn, the Night of Autumn uh, logo or whatever it is, the hashtag. And they're using it because they're very proud. And I think it's pretty cool. Um, Non-binary player. I've, I actually had not heard of that term until uh, Wedge tweeted it out. I did a little bit of research. It's a little fascinating. Uh, especially in the state of Texas uh, with our bathroom laws and things of that nature. It's interesting for me as a legal perspective of what can and cannot happen legally uh, without getting arrested, of course. Of course, there's ethics and morality, but then there's also that higher hierarchy of the legal thing, will you go to jail? So back to the British thing. Uh, this is pretty much the magic community. They just latch on to whatever is popular and that's it. I'm no different. Uh, PewDiePie videos do very well. And I have no doubt that I will be continuing to make them. Because finally there is a light at the end of the tunnel. And I can see that we can go back to being a community which is not as divided. Because we everyone just moved back to the center I assume. That's what I assume. But back to the British part. The dude goes to Great Britain for, what, a week? Um, takes a transatlantic flight with severe IBS. Somehow he survived that flight. I would also not want to be on that flight, and I would not want to sit on him next to the plane because apparently it is so severe that you cannot hold a full-time or a part-time job or even make YouTube videos. Um, you just cannot do it. You can tweet, though, but no YouTube videos. So back to the uh, Great Britain argument. Uh, now, suddenly, Wedge is a citizen of Great Britain. And suddenly, he doesn't care about the U.S. He's always not cared. So it's the loyalty factor. You spent all your life in the U.S., and as soon as you can call yourself, you know, this is a win for Great Britain, who says that? Like, who says that? It doesn't make any sense. Like, I've never seen a tweet logically formed this way where, first of all, you congratulate her for being non-binary or they from being non-binary. 
They is such a weird pronoun to use here. Uh, but I guess it's the correct one because Weds has used their. Uh, they are now... Mm, I, I don't want it's, to... It's plural, so I'm getting a little trouble here. So anyway, the person, I'll use the person, is a non-binary representative of our community. And that's fantastic. I think it is the first time that, um, someone non-binary has won. I've heard of cis and trans, but I, this is the first time I've heard of non-binary. And it is, from a legal perspective, fascinating because do you go to the women's bathroom? Do you go to the men's bathroom? Um, that's interesting. Uh, that's a fascinating question to me. So back to the conversation of selling out. As soon as you can, and this is true for many people, I went to NYU, which is a very liberal college, so I see crazy stuff on my feet all the time. And it's gotten to the point I just don't correct it anymore. I'm just like, okay, whatever, just go for it. <laughs> Maybe I'll defriend them or mute them. But as soon as someone who lived in the U.S., which I think is a great country, I live in the great state of Texas, and I love it, can renounce the U.S. or you know hide in some other thing like Great Britain and say, this is a win for Great Britain. Who says that? Like, what U.S. citizen says that, like, about Magic Tournament. Like, <laughs> it's a Magic Tournament. Come on, dude. And he's already, like, pretending to be, like, a Great Britain citizen, a British citizen, because he thinks it's cooler. It's like that kid in elementary school whose parents take him to London for, like, one week in summer break, and then all of a sudden he comes back, he's got the backpack, he's talking in this weird accent, and it's like, dude, Jer Jeremy, You've been to Great Britain like for one week on vacation with your parents. You're not British. Come on, dude. You're not British. Now, there is interesting um, information. And I watch a lot of uh, BBC TV shows like uh, Pay For It or We take it, take it Away or We Pay For It or something like that. No, Pay For It or We Take It Away. And Great Britain has um, free housing for people who can afford it, including immigrants. Uh, Great Britain has free health care, free education. I mean, it's literally the perfect place for Wedge to live. So I guess he's very proud that he can live off others in Great Britain. And, you know, more power to him, more power to him. But this is the status of the magic community. I see this very often when it's like you live in the U.S. all your life, and then now you go to Great Britain, and suddenly Great Britain is so much better than the U.S. Like, get, get the blank out of here. Like, get the blank out of here. Are you kidding me? So... This happens in our community a lot. Um, it's, oh, this deck, even from a deck standpoint, all oh, control, you know, it's, it's popular to hate on control, but 90% of you guys play it. What? Like, think about this for a moment. If everyone is hating on control decks, winning and, you know, dominating, which they are, but 90 plus percent of people who go to these events play it, how can you hate something that you're playing? Maybe you can because you're like, oh, this is boring. I don't want to play against it. But at the same time, you've chosen to play with it. So you're winning with it. The top decks are control decks. The top MTG Arena, they had to ban Nexus of Fate because it was too OP. And it was draining all the fun and people were not playing MTG Arena because it was so unfun. I mean, that's the first card banned in MTG Arena is a control card. So, why is Twitter then full with people saying, uh, ah, first non-binary trans winner, blah, blah, blah. It's not special. It doesn't have to be mentioned. It doesn't bring anything to the table, magic-wise. You can try to ignore the human side of MTG, but it won't go away. Magic is about the players, and getting to know the pros is something people like to do. But... Thanks for throwing SJW there. Just make it really clear to me what kind of crowd you're shouting from. So here's the here's another very common logical flaw that the mana source engages in continuously. Um, he'll instead of whenever you criticize someone, it's really easy today and given today's politics to say, "Oh, you're a Trump supporter, so look at who you support. Look at your tweets from the past." You support Trump, or you are a anti-Trump supporter, and then that's the end of the argument. That's the end of the criticism. That's the end of the discussion. 
So the discussion doesn't get very far because as soon as you feel threatened or dangered or you're、um, allowing a different viewpoint, as soon as like, hmm, that might be interesting. Instead of continuing the discussion, you just say, "Oh, Trump fan. Oh, non-Trump fan," and then that's the end of the discussion, <laughs> as we see many times with the the Manosaurus and his followers and subscribers. They they need to win, and it used to be.、Um, so obviously, when I went to law school, it was a few years ago, and the greatest cases were when both parties had a good point. And both parties could understand each other's points. So whenever you are doing a trial case, you have to understand your opponent's view. Even you cannot be biased. That's why people hire a lawyer, even though they can represent themselves. Because sometimes when you're in the muck, it's hard to see like what it actually looks like from a neutral, unbiased perspective. And we have a lot of this.、Um, it is quite、uh, fascinating that. Um, and it is a discussion worth having.、Um, I think the non-binary part is very important.、Uh, that a magic player is non-binary and they have won the first mythic invitation and possibly many more.、Uh, it, from a legal perspective, it is interesting.、Um, in Texas, we had a big controversy of what bathroom can trans people use? Did they have their own bathroom? Would that cost too much money for Walmart to install? Uh, a trans bathroom and so on. It was a fa- like from a legal perspective, it's a good discussion to have.、Uh, but from a magic perspective, I don't think it makes a difference if you're non-binary or not. You won the tournament. You played the deck. You won. You're a good magic player. You're the best at this moment in time. So when you talk about Magic the Gathering and you talk about the politics, I don't think they should mix. A lot of people mix it because they feel like they should get the likes and the retweets, and you know. But at the end of the day, you don't live off likes and retweets. You have to get a, the majority of us, I will say, cannot ask for、um, donations.、Uh, we have to work regular jobs. We have to pay taxes. We have、uh, to take care of our dogs and family, and for, you know, hang out with friends. Income is important for the majority of us. And I would say that the being British part also doesn't matter. I also mentioned they were British, but you're not going to criticize that message, are you?、Uh, yes, I am going to criticize that message because it's it's one thing to live in a place and not be proud of the U.S.、Um, and Wedge has been very vehement that he is not pro-U.S. at this point in time. Given our, given all the anti-Trump things he、uh, tweets all the time, but it's another thing to just like adopt someone else's like culture and just run with it, even though you've been there for like a month, and you know, you know exactly what type of person I'm talking about, right? We've all had this type of person in our lives, or we've all seen them. They've been classmates, mates, maybe coworkers, where they go to a new place for a little bit of time. And suddenly, that new place is so much better than the place you lived for the, your entire life. Man, that's sad. That's really sad.、Um, I. So I went to live in the state of Texas. I'm actually not from Texas, but it's the perfect state for me. I love Houston. I love where I live, and that's why a lot of you, you know, I make these videos, and they're interesting videos. And actually, we had a big incident happen. Uh, just yesterday, I'm not going to. Maybe I'll make another video on my other channel. It's a pretty big incident.、Uh, it was、uh, involving children's safety、um, in the very,、um, very. Aff- it, it was very dangerous. I'll put it that way. So、uh, back to this. Please subscribe to my other channel. I really need views, and we are going to do Startup University, which is actually a comment I got. And I was like, yeah, that's a perfect name for it. That's exactly what we are. We're not. We're not going to call ourselves Startup Community College because you know we have slightly better standards. I think,、um, slightly better, and we're just going to call ourselves Startup University, and then we'll have blogs and vlogs, and、um, we're actually looking to buy a camera today that shoots in 4K consistently, instead of like every five minutes, because then that's. I think 4K. I like 4K. I know a lot of you don't think it's important, but anyway, subscribe to this channel. I really need like 
I want my re revenge. Bye. Oh, also, can I have a dollar, please?